In Christianity, the Gospel, Greek, Euangelion translate. Euangelion, Old English, Godspell, Latin, Evangelium Latin pronunciation, E. Van D. E. Lee, um, or the Good News, is the news of the coming of the Kingdom of God, Mark chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. The message of Good News is described as a narrative in the four canonical Gospels. The message of Good News is described as theology in many of the New Testament letters. It relates to the saving acts of God due to the work of Jesus on the cross and Jesus' resurrection from the dead which bring reconciliation, atonement, between people and God. The Apostle Paul's Gospel is of Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection to restore people's relationship with God. It may also include the descent of the Holy Spirit upon believers and the second coming of Jesus. Paul gave the following summary, translated into English, of this good news, gospel, in one of his letters to Christians in the city of Corinth. Now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received, in which also you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1-4 NASB. Christian theology describes the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ not as a new concept, but one that has been foretold throughout the Old Testament and was prophetically preached even at the time of the fall of man as contained in Genesis chapter 3 verses 14 to 15, which has been called the Proto-Evangelion or Proto-Gospel. Topic. Etymology Gospel is the Old English translation of Greek euangelion, meaning good news. This may be seen from analysis of euangelion, uu, good, plus angelos angelos, messenger, plus ion ion diminutive suffix. The Greek term was Latinized as evangelium in the Vulgate, and translated into Latin as bona annunciatio. In Old English, it was translated as godspell, god, good. Plus S-P-E-L. News. The Old English term was retained as gospel in Middle English Bible translations and hence remains in use also in modern English. The written accounts of the life and teaching of Jesus are also generally known as Gospels. Topic. In Acts. The good news can be summarized in many ways, reflecting various emphases. Cambridge New Testament scholar C. H. Dodd has summarized the Christian good news as taught by the Apostle Peter in the book of Acts see Kerygma, Acts chapter 2 verses 14 to 41, Acts chapter 3 verse 11 minus 4 to 4, Acts chapter 10 verses 34 to 43. The age of fulfillment has dawned, the latter days foretold by the prophets acts chapter 3 verses 18 to 26 this has taken place through the birth life ministry death and resurrection of jesus christ acts chapter 2 verses 22 to 31 by virtue of the resurrection jesus has been exalted at the right hand of god as messianic head of the new israel acts chapter 2 verses 32 to 36 the Holy Spirit in the Church is the sign of Christ's present power and glory. Acts chapter 10 verses 44 to 48. The Messianic Age will reach its consummation in the return of Christ. Acts chapter 3 verses 20 to 21. An appeal is made for repentance with the offer of forgiveness, the Holy Spirit, and salvation. Acts chapter 2 verses 37 to 41. Topic. Broader biblical background Generally speaking, the gospel of Jesus Christ, or the message of salvation, justification, and sanctification, is explained by the Apostle Paul in his epistle to the Romans, especially in chapters 3 to 8. 
Christian writers and teachers often present the good news set within the context of the storyline of the whole Bible. This discipline, of understanding the Christian message in terms of biblical salvation history, is known as biblical theology. This attempts to posit a connection between Old Testament and the Christian teachings of the good news about the life, death and resurrection of Jesus. For example, the Roman Catholic Church promotes the teaching of the good news in the context of biblical salvation history as a fundamental part of the content of its instruction. There are numerous exponents of the biblical theology approach to understanding the good news. Some Christian teachers and biblical theologians who have published descriptions of the Bible author's message in terms of salvation history include Kostenberger and O'Brien 2001, who have published A Biblical Theology of Mission, and Goldsworthy 1991, who writes from an evangelical Christian perspective. Many Bible scholars and Christian groups have placed similar descriptions on the Internet. There is a degree of variation in perspective between such descriptions. However, the main focus is generally the same. The Bible storyline tells of God working throughout history to save a people for himself, and these saving acts are completed through the person and work of Jesus. Topic: In various Christian movements. The good news is described in many different ways in the Bible. Each one reflects different emphases, and describes part or all of the biblical narrative. Christian teaching of the good news, including the preaching of the apostles in the book of Acts, generally focuses upon the resurrection of Jesus and its implications. Sometimes in the Bible, the good news is described in other terms, but it still describes God's saving acts. For example, the Apostle Paul taught that the good news was announced to the patriarch Abraham in the words. All nations will be blessed through you. Galatians chapter 3 verses 6 to 9, C, F. Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. Topic. Liberation theology. Liberation theology, articulated in the teachings of Latin American Catholic theologians Leonardo Boff and Gustavo Gutierrez, emphasizes that Jesus came not only to save humanity, but also to liberate the poor and oppressed. A similar movement among the Latin American evangelical movement is Integral Mission, where the Church is seen as an agent for positively transforming the wider world, in response to the good news. This can likewise be seen in black theology of certain African and African American Christians. Topic: Christian Mission. The Christian Missions movement believes the Christian good news to be a message for all peoples of all nations, tribes, cultures and languages. This movement teaches that it is through the good news of Jesus that the nations of humanity are restored to relationship with God, and that the destiny of the nations is related to this process. Missiology professor Howard A. Snyder writes, God has chosen to place the worldwide church with Christ at the very center of his plan to reconcile the world to himself. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 20-23. Another perspective described in the writings of the Apostle Paul is that it is through the good news of Jesus' death and resurrection, and the resulting worship of people from all nations, that evil is defeated on a cosmic scale. Reflecting on the third chapter of Paul's letter to the Ephesians 3, Howard A. Snyder writes, God's plan for the worldwide church extends to the fullest extent of the cosmos. By God's manifold wisdom, the worldwide church displays an early fullness of what Christ will accomplish at the conclusion of all the ages. The spectacle is to reach beyond the range of humanity, even to the angelic realms. The worldwide church is to be God's display of Christ's reconciling love. Topic. See also. Book of Revelation Council of Jerusalem Evangelism Gospel in Islam Logos Messiah Ministry of Jesus 
threefold office. Equals equals footnotes.